This video tutorial will show you how to connect EZO 200 with your CMC test set. This is done with the configuration module EZO Connect. EZO 200 is a binary input and output extension with an IEC 61850 interface. It offers numerous applications and configurations. During this video, we will only use it as a binary extension for the Omicron CMC. Both devices will communicate via Ethernet using fast goose communication. The simplest case is to directly connect the EZO with an Ethernet cable to the CMC. But you can also use a network with switches, maybe for connecting multiple EZO. EZO uses either power over Ethernet or an external power supply. All CMC test sets with Ethernet connectors starting from Net 1B and above do support power over Ethernet. Each EZO 200 provides 8 binary inputs and 8 binary outputs. During distributed tests, it comes in handy that you can span bigger distances with a single Ethernet cable. At first, EZO must be prepared to be connected to the CMC. We perform a factory reset by pressing the little button on the back side of the device to delete all previous configurations. The binary input's threshold values are also set to 18 volts this way. Alternatively, all configurations can be done via the EZO web interface. Now open the configuration module EZO Connect. Using this module, you can connect up to three EZO devices to a single CMC. The additional inputs and outputs will be available as virtual input and output group 11 in the Test Universe software. These virtual signals are not physically existent on the CMC, but they can be used in the test modules just like conventional inputs or relay outputs. Please note that not all test modules are supporting these virtual signals. To connect a specific EZO with the CMC, just enter its serial number here. That's it! Now select the Ethernet port that will be used to connect the EZO and apply the configuration. The physical state of the EZO's binary inputs is now available in the CMC software modules as virtual inputs. The same is true for the EZO's binary outputs. For example, in the State Sequencer module, open the Hardware Configuration and activate the Virtual Input and Output Groups 11. You can now find the virtual inputs in the Binary Input tab. Configure them as Binary Inputs 1 to 8. Do this also for the Binary Outputs. Back in the module, you can now use the binary inputs as trigger for the states. You can also analyze them in the time signal view and use them for automatic assessments. The EZO outputs are available under binary outputs. The EZO Connect configuration module can also be inserted into an Omicron control center file. You will then have to activate the virtual in and outputs in the global hardware configuration. EZO is disconnected from the CMC by restarting the CMC.